my work. I enjoy writing something that I have facts in my mind, mm. facts in my hands, uh, facts that can be challenged and you can be able to fight the evidence. So I had already started doing my research at KU. And uh, yeah. because of, of KU is very near uh, where I stay. And I've already given at least two days mm. uh, spread in the KU library. Mm. But when the lockdown came, uh, everybody was discouraged. Mm. And uh, I stopped going there. But when I stopped going there, I immersed myself into my usual reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, uh, I have read quite a number of books mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, I have done a review of them. Yeah. And very soon I'm going to post it in my, uh, what do you call it? Blog? In my blog. In my blog. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm reading a book. I don't know whether you can see it. Mm -hmm. uh, are you able to see that one? No, no, no. Maybe you can try it this other side, away from the window on your left. This side. Yeah. This side. Yes, that on side. The, this side. On the side of the wall. Uh, this way. Yeah. Yeah. It is a book on leadership. Okay. Uh, the myth and reality of leadership. Mm -hmm. Uh it is a, some kind of history history book. Mm. It analyzes it analyzes people who have been leading in various sectors of life. Mm. Uh, the myth surrounding their leadership, yeah, mm -hmm. and the reality about what they actually were, because the two are conflicting. And I'll be able to to put the review in my blog. Mm. Uh, for for many people to access mm -hmm. i i've also been i've also managed to finish this one uh, are you seeing it mm -hmm. it's not see. <laughs> uh, what what is the title collusion oh collusion eh? collusion this is collusion between trump and russia <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you remember the politics of corruption between Trump election and Russia. Yes. Yeah. And there has been a lot of uh, inquiries about the matter. Mm. So somebody wrote a book. It's very it's very interesting. And he yeah. has made a, a number of conclusions. Mm. And I thought it is good for me to be aware of what is happening. Mm. So I I have now managed to finish that one. Yeah. And I can now can now be able to tell or authoritatively uh, what has been happening between the two powers. Okay. Okay. And I must say, I must say quite a number of books. Now this one mm. on leadership. Yeah. Uh, has also driven me to rereading. Mm. I say reading books like Julius Caesar mm. uh, by William Shakespeare. Yeah. Reason, reason being the, yeah. influence, the influence behind the writing of this book mm. uh, is somebody who is somebody who was a Greek uh, biographer. Mm. And it is from his work that Shakespeare drew the influences to, to be able to write books like uh, Julius Caesar, mm. books like Romeo and Juliet, mm. books like Coriolanus, mm. and so on and so forth. Mm. So the mention that is made of those names here yeah. made me now look for those books to be able now to have a broader picture mm. of what may have influenced the writing of this book. Mm. That is what I am at at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. I tell you, eh? you are really doing really yeah. things. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy reading, and I think uh, it, it is just too good for me. <laughs> I feel yeah. so much at home with books. Mm. Yeah, mm. 
but that is that so is uh, that opinion is not shared by many people eh? people have retired yeah. they'll say they want to rest they do nothing mm -hmm. else <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah i think for me i i cannot do without books mm. yeah they are very close to my heart and and when you when you read like you do about let's say collusion do you feel the urge to maybe write something on the same because that is what happens for me when i read something and i get an opinion about yeah. something i feel like maybe yeah. i can also bring a context so i always write based on things i see or the things i read like there was a yes. the, the, my one of my recent books was a book called measure of a man which yeah. uh, you know gives you were talking about boy child earlier <laughs> it gives yeah. uh, you know a, a very good view of who a real man should be eh? not real in terms of yeah. beating people and doing all the things the the things we hear around but the real man in terms of what it really should be eh? <laughs> yeah. so every time i i get that i feel the inspiration to write in my context what i see does that happen to you also when you read uh, books serious books like that do you feel the urge to also write maybe something in relation to that in your context i, th I think there is a, a small difference here yeah uh between a creative writer yeah because now uh, the picture you have given me yeah is that is that where you use an idea mm. picked from a book it fires creativity in you mm -hmm. and yep. opens up a world that you can write about. Yeah. But for me, as a historian, yeah, what I do mm. is write articles. For example, I can now be able to write an article on the relationship between the two powers. Mm. I can be able to write an article between that power and the others. Mm. And it also, it also, for example, helps me to understand yeah. the dynamic, the dynamics of politics in today's world. Mm. So what I'm able to, what I'm able to produce is one, yeah. a review of the book, mm. and capture those pertinent issues. Yeah, and also, also now be able to write uh, articles articles that are related to collusion yeah. between, between politicians in different parts of the world mm. as a way of showing that if there was collusion here it is possible in yeah. any other aspect mm. so what i'm able to produce is articles of that nature okay on the broad understanding of the power relations mm. i think that's what that helps mm. me to okay. yeah Wow, <laughs> I think uh, I think Julie was right when she said that it is time you considered writing something, even if it is words of wisdom to boys. Mm. Eh? <laughs> the the yeah. nature of wisdom that is coming from you is yeah. not the wisdom that should uh, should be left unexploited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In in fact, what uh, what Julie is doing? Yeah. She, she is inspiring me, and I'll tell you how. Mm. When when I was principal, yeah, um, and especially in my third school, which is uh, Pakrad's Boys High School, yeah, uh, the kind of punishments that we were doing, yeah, mm -hmm. we were we were recording them in a very detailed way. Mm. And I remember, I remember in that school, I left a very good record of punishments. Yeah. And the influences of the parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I later left that school and went to another one known as Pumwani. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where I was for eight years. Mm -hmm. I, equally, I equally left uh, a very big wealth of similar mm. records. Mm. Yeah. So when Julie talks, and I remember all those things that we did, then I say, suppose I go to those people who are principals there, and I tell them to give me those files for some time. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Then do a write-up yeah. of those things. 
I, I think they can open up a wonderful world of understanding of the experiences of boy child, for example. Welcome, Eunice. That is okay. something I'll do. I'll do it. I mute? Okay. Yeah. So, Julie, eh, you yeah. have to make sure that uh, this is done, eh, because there is a seed you planted in Mwalimu today. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Mwalimu, you will allow me to follow up, to follow up yeah. and get feedback from you on the progress. Yes. <laughs> but I strongly believe you are one of the men who can save the boy child, not just in Kenya, but even in Africa and the world. Yeah. Because it's, it's becoming a real concern. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. My interest, my interest all along has been in um, political economy. Okay. Uh, in politics. Mm. Um, reading about uh, those kind of things. But I think uh, I always had an idea mm -hmm. that something like that can be done. And yeah. I remember when in Pakrad, I had really instructed my uh, discipline committee to yes. think in terms of all of us writing a book toward the discipline in schools. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> we, never, we never did, yeah. but I can, revisit, I can revisit the issue. Please do. Yeah. So I'll do something. Mm. Thank you, William. <laughs> Thank you very much. Asante sana, William. We look forward to that, even if it is just a small one for the boys. Yes. I'll really benefit yes. from it. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I'll do something about it. OK, yeah. OK. Yes, so Julie, let's let's know more about you. And welcome, Eunice. Eh? I can see you're very calm this afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, we are just doing an introduction. Uh, then we have a brief discussion, then we will let you go back. I hope you've come with your tea. Oh, no, let me get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, Julie. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gabriel. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, um, about what I have been doing during the quarantine period, I still go to work. I go to the office almost daily, uh, but uh, keeping safe. Um, mm. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's different still. I still have a lot of time, free time, because there is less traffic. Mm. And we leave work earlier. Yeah. So during this time, I was able to finalize on my book a poetry collection and i'm very happy that i finally did that mm -hmm. so i submitted to the editor through writer guild by the gabriel i'll always always be very grateful that i met you people <laughs> so, after i submitted that book <laughs> i felt as if uh, my baby had grown up and left my house <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> you always have something you're doing, and then one day you're like, "Oh, now what do I do tomorrow? I have no book to keep on writing and checking on." Mm -hmm. So I thought about it and thought about my strengths in terms of writing, mm -hmm. and I decided to do something different, different from poetry. Mm. I love poetry because it is, you know, you just write and it's it's gone. You don't <laughs> yeah. have to complete the story and worry mm. about how you began the story. Anyway, so I I decided to do something different, mm. something that maybe someone would call inspirational or a self-help book. Mm. Um, yes, which I began this week. I wrote quite a bit today. I'm feeling inspired with some energy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so I'm very happy about that. Mm. And also I've had uh, time to spend with my children. Mm. And one of the reasons I'm really, you know, uh, requesting Mwalimu to write something about the boy child. I have a son, he's 10 years old and uh, I have spent a lot of time with him. 
the last mm. few weeks. Yeah. And, you know, observing him, observing how he relates with his friend and the decisions he makes, you know, I'm like, um, it's different now for them than it was uh, during our time. Mm. But you know, there are things that are constant. The environment might be different, but you know, wisdom, wisdom is constant. Mm. You know, there are things that are constant. The environments change. Now there is more digital digitalization. There are different things, but there are things that are constant. Discipline, you know, passion, what drives you as a person, uh, mm. wisdom, such things are constant. So mm. the men who, who have lived a good life like Mualimu, even mm. Gabriel, eh? <laughs> okay. is, is something you need to, to do to impact the generations behind you. Mm. And it can only be done by men. As moms, we do, we do our part. Uh, Lillian, we do have that. <laughs> but there is something that the boys need from their fathers and other men mm. um, who've, who've lived a good life. So, mm. yes, I think that, that's all I have to say for now. Gabriel, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I see you are really, I think when it comes to putting something for the men and the boys, I think I will pass the ball to, to Malimu. Eh? <laughs> I'm feeling the journey also. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, maybe in my own way, I will be able to put something. Actually, there is something my, I'm putting a book together again. I hope I will finish by the end of the year. Uh, uh -huh. The title is "What Will People Say?" <laughs> so yeah. I hope it captures, but mo mostly it focuses on young people below thirty, about yes. eighteen, but below thirty. So mm -hmm. maybe Mwalimu will start with them when they are teens. Then when they get to eighteen, then maybe I love them. <laughs> for them. <laughs> yeah, I let, like let, that. Let me, say, let, let me let me say something. Yes, yes. Uh, um the way the way god has created us yeah is 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 such that with the boys mm -hmm. um as they grow up to about the time when they are in puberty mm. yes the 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 most dominant personality in their mind is the mother yes and and after after puberty yes. they go to teenage and mm -hmm. they become adults. Yes. Uh, what, no, what normally happens is that the mother factor uh, somehow slackens. Yes. And the, the father factor now comes into play. Yes. It is, for example, around the age of 25, mm -hmm. that the boy now will start copying the father, start mm -hmm. being very keen about the father. Mm -hmm. But before that, it is the mother. Mm -hmm. even, even then, even then, the, yeah. there is a central position that the mother occupies that will never be violated in a boy child. True. The girl, the girl is the opposite. <laughs> it is the father. Yes. <laughs> it is the father who dominates the mind of the girl. Yeah. And, and, and that is the reason why when you go to schools, for example, Mm -hmm. You will find you will find that if a girl, for example, is sent home because of some indiscipline, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> maybe for maybe for a week, mm -hmm. and then after one week, you find that the girl is brought back by the father. Mm -hmm. Then you know from mm -hmm. the beginning <laughs> you will not be able to solve the problem of indiscipline in that girl well. <laughs> we, are, we are talking we are talking about a father who calls this girl mommy. Yes. Which creates some compromise. <laughs> similarly, similarly, the boy child. If a boy is sent home and you find that after some time it is the mother bringing back the boy, mm -hmm. then you know you will not get far. <laughs> because the mother, the mother is four. And this is one of the reasons why we have got a lot of problem, a lot of problem in schools because of the parental factor. Mm. 
of our time who when you are caught up in an indiscipline in school the parent will equally whip you this program <laughs> was anymore and they were probable not anymore i think that's what jury we need to put down what yes do <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think we are done with two chapters of this book, Julie. So yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, as a younger mother, you can also look at a book by James Dobson called "Bringing Up Boys." Okay. It, it, ah, it is, uh, okay. I've, I've read it. My boy is, of course, older. He's going to twenty-one, uh -huh. but. Uh, it will explain some funny things as as the women the the, the female gender that <laughs> we don't quite understand about these other ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. Know, thank they you. Seem a bit different. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Who, who, who did you say is the author? James Dobson. Dobson. Yes. James Dobson. Okay. I've written it. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So we can hear from Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria. Ah, uh, hi. Hi. I have babies in, in the room. So if you hear some chaos, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, um, I've been in the house for like forever. Uh when the first uh when you had the first person being um having the symptoms of covid immediately we closed down so when we closed down um it became crazy for me because again me I'm, i i have other issue, issues adhd and all this stuff so <laughs> so the next day again now we were told to now work from home and then um one or uh, sorry let me just keep this charging um Sorry, just a minute. Yeah. Okay. So I thought, yay, I'll I'll have more time to write and I'll finish my book. So sorry again. <laughs> what is happening in this? It's not charging. Um yeah, it's charging. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's charging okay. now. I'm you're, you're breaking a bit, so you may repeat that. <laughs> oh, yeah so uh i thought i'd have more time to read and write so later again we had other issues coming in to the employer uh with our cut pay cuts and all this stuff and um it became even more and more crazy so i again i thought i'll have more time to read and write so after that I tried to write about, maybe I said to write about, I tried to write a children's book. I think I was motivated by the speaker who talked about um, being a children's writer. And I spoke to you guys and I'm like, ah, yeah, that, that can happen. But again, it didn't work. I, I had completely lost the, my systems because I was going to work in the morning and then coming back and then looking for time to read and write and then sleeping. So now I have all this time. I have to decide what to do. There's no work, but I have to decide whether to write or not. And of course I chose not to write or um, read. So I've not done anything basically in terms of writing or reading. And I feel very bad about it because again, uh, I, I love to put my voice outside there about uh health uh you know what are people how are we handling even this covid period so my voice is not there so um i was so glad we are having this because maybe through this i'd have the motivation to write more about healthcare, to demystify this covid how is it gonna happen maybe talk to other specialists and just find out what's going to happen is I just put the content out there, but I'm not doing that. So I, I was hoping this would kind of jumpstart it and motiv motivate me to kind of uh, continue or start. Yeah. I, yeah. So I'm basically number last in the group. 
<laughs> but <laughs> I'm so happy that you guys called this meeting because I know after this, I told you I love competition. If there's no competition or if there's no someone saying, you know what, if you do this, we'll clap for you or you'll be the best in the world. I will tell you, I'm not going to do I'll look for something else to do that is giving me that, which there, there is in. So I'm just there waiting for someone to say, you know what, if you write about COVID-19 and just demystify what guys facing mental health issues are facing at this time, uh we'll have had you or you will you'll save mankind you know so and it's not happening so again uh it's probably something i need to work out with my other people who are my doctors and therapists yeah so okay. basically <laughs> basically that's it i have so many books that i need to read i've I've bought about, I think, 50 books this year. Sorry, I'm not finished paying the school fees. <laughs> <laughs> so I have so many books that well, I was really motivated to read about, especially African um, African authors, because I wanted, I'm an African author. So I, I haven't been. So I'm hoping by the end of this meeting, at least I have some motivation. Uh, or something to just keep me up up to par so i just don't, don't chill there and, and and get defeated okay 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 you know. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah okay thank you very much for being very honest and saying that you need to do more during this time yeah uh, and that that is precisely the reason why we are here so we just ask what you've been doing and uh, follow up on each other and encourage each other to to write so yeah. thank you very much for that allow me to just remind you briefly of some things that we learned in class mm -hmm. uh, there are things which you are familiar with so i'll just share my screen then we'll just go through them quickly then i i, I introduce you to something that we also mentioned in class briefly but it is more than any 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 other time it is now is the best time for it so allow me just to share my screen and then i can be able to remind just some few things that we learned in class uh, are you able to see my screen <laughs> mm, yes yes oh. Uh, so if you remember when we were in class, we learned something to do with, uh, you know, many people wanting to write and we said something that the, the best place to start for mm -hmm. writing, if you want to write, or if you, if you'd wish to write more is to actually write something. That's what Lillian was saying regarding, uh, you know, me telling her just, just write. So. It is better to write something than pick from there. So you would say, uh, maybe you write about, like Eunice, for instance, you write about what you'd think about uh, Corona or this period, then you share with someone and say, what do you think about this? What can I adjust? So the best place always to start is to write. So I hope you remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then uh, there is something, I don't know if we brought it clearly in the class, but what is the why why do you write eh? you know maybe a very good example is the one which um pro, uh, which uh, julie has challenged prof to write uh, with a view to guiding people so maybe you will always try to remember uh you know why do i write why should i write i was thinking and maybe you you remember this week the the right the people in the writing field have really been mourning the death of Professor Walibora. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I noticed after he had died that uh, he wrote so much 
about 40 books in total. <laughs> so many people knew him through his books. So when he was a lecturer in America and he experienced racism, he decided to write about it. In terms, the book is called Amunyeusi because he has a black blood, blood, a yeah, black blood. Everything that he was undergoing, he wrote. So I, 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 I'm in a certain WhatsApp group where there are other writers and they were saying that he left, if you read all his books, you will know his life <laughs> to a point that some people were saying that he even predicted his death. So he wrote so much. I don't know what his why was, but it seems like maybe his writing was his way of seeking justice. So if he gets racism, he writes about it. If uh, he was raised from, he, was, he comes from a very poor family, he wrote about it, part of it in Sikunjama. Then uh, I don't know if, if you remember this, we said it about writing daily. <laughs> so I don't know if this commitment is still there. <laughs> yeah, you try as much as possible to put some rhythm to your writing so that you, you maybe now, because we have a bit of time, you can say, I write every day, but normally you'd say I write Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but just generally putting some rhythm to your writing. I hope you remember that as well. And uh, setting a specific time to write. Uh, so now, now it's a bit hard because yeah, we have all the time, uh, but again, even that you realize that there are so many things competing for your time. So you can still, uh, lack time to write, though you have the old time. So maybe setting a specific time to write, even if it is evening, morning, depending on what is comfortable for you. And also reading, and that's why we were asking about, um, you know, what you are reading currently, always. This should be our, our weapon, always, to always try to read something. And then, um, an accountability partner. <laughs> this was mentioned in passing, but uh, we encouraged that within the class, maybe you can, you know, the person you connected with most, if you can just be sending them your article and they, you ask them what they think. So maybe just that person to ask you, have you written on Monday as you had promised or as you had said, have you written on Wednesday? Maybe you, you may also think about it because sometimes we we think we are strong, but not not so much. <laughs> then setting writing targets. I don't know if you have this. Uh, maybe you can you can try. If, for instance, uh, like uh, Julie, you you had uh, you know the target to get your book published. Now it is with the editors, but then what you are writing now. When, when do you project that maybe you should be done with it or just something generally, in, in general? Yeah, then this, this one I'd really encourage. I'd really encourage it for all of us to, to have a place where you can be, you see like Lillian, she started the blog, even if it is just a WordPress blog, she started it. So every time she writes, she shares. Then she shares with me or with another person Having an outlet channel gives you that, you know, place for feedback, however little. You know, when you go to your blog and you find three people have read, that is good enough. Mm -hmm. Or even if you, like in this case, I'll, I ask Julie if she can be able to present even one poem, that is a small outlet channel. So if we can, maybe even for Mwalimu, if you can be posting in your blog more, maybe maybe weekly or every two weeks, just something small, small, but at least you, you know, if you are, see like a car, if you are just putting in the petrol, but there is no exhaust. Yeah, yeah, it will burst. Eh? <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, even us, even, Creation is in such a way that there is inlet and outlet somehow. Yeah, sure. So we we really need to, in this area of outlet channel, I really encourage you, even if it is just a blog, and maybe that would even apply for Julie as well. 
Yeah. As much as the book is there, well, I don't know what you'd think, but for me, I, I published the book which was launched last year called Questions of My Youth, but I really want it to reach many people. So mm. recently, in two, week, two weeks ago, I started some podcast where I just go and read because they're just short, short questions, like one page or two pages. So I just read what I wrote. Then I explain a bit, what did I want to achieve by this? Or what was, what did I want? Why did I write mm -hmm. this? So I just explain a bit, then I record it there for free. So mm -hmm. I just share it with my friends uh, during the birthdays. I just share, you know, listen to this, something that is relevant. They listen to it. So an outlet channel, you, we, we really, I would really encourage this even for Eunice. If you can maybe get a WordPress blog, you just write something and you share an outlet channel. Yeah, then uh, this, this, this educating ourselves is, I learned from Mr. Misi. <laughs> He's, uh, well, the, the people in the first class, uh, Lillian, you may not know Mr. Misi, but Mr. Misi was one of our trainers in the second class. Mm -hmm. He's, written a lot. He's written some books, which maybe you've come across, Looters and Grabbers. Yeah. Uh, he's written a lot. Eh? But mm -hmm. I, I really admire him. He keeps doing these writing courses, like the ones which he sent us, which we were doing, which we, we sent you. He keeps doing these writing courses. If, like now he wants to write fiction. He say, he had committed and he had said that he will never write fiction. He was a nonfiction. But now he says, what, what is the harm? He wants to try now. So he was doing courses on fiction writing. So even us, we can, you know, try however much, how possible we learn from others. So we can uh, uh, register to a course here and there. Some mm -hmm. are short, mostly, most of them are free. Now with our time, we can try and even do one here. Yeah, so we keep educating ourselves. Yeah, so those are some of the things that we learned in class, but I just thought it would be, uh, it would be nice to just, Remind ourselves, eh? remind them even if they know. That one, you, uh, Lillian will be, be able to write a poem about. Remind them even if they know. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I would just, you know, give you a brief reminder on the same. Okay. And um, yeah, then, yeah. I don't know what you think. Uh, are you doing any course, Julie? Are you, you know, what? In the light of that reminder, what <laughs> do you have anything to share? <laughs> okay, um, I'm not doing any course, but the notes you sent from Mr. Hamisi are yeah. very, very useful. Mm. Plus, you know, after the February class, we learned so much, so it is still <laughs> so fresh. Okay, and I'm applying most of those lessons, mm. and I know. What I learned from that class will take me maybe through my next, my three books, yeah? <laughs> and um, I, I apply most of them, yeah. right? Every day writing frequently, you know. Um, accountability partner, uh, I try. <laughs> I try depending on what I'm writing, especially because, okay, for poetry, Mm. You know, not many people understand or appreciate poetry. Yeah. Uh, targets, yes. So the one that today, Nimekumbushwa Vizuri na Gabriel, ni get an outlet or a channel. Yeah. So that one is what I haven't done. And yes, now, now yeah. I'm putting it to heart. I will do it. Mm. Sorry to... Oh. The last bit, we didn't capture the last bit where you were speaking of the outlet channel. I think the internet had oh. mm. Okay, so I'm saying I don't have an outlet or a channel yet, mm. but I am challenged today. Um, yeah. so I'll, I'll, I'll start maybe a blog, uh, something, something, so that I write and then put it somewhere for other people to see. Mm. Actually, uh, you may not, a blog is okay, but that is just mm. a suggestion. Even mm. what you did with sending your article in the newspaper is a yes. very good thing. So maybe yes. you can do more. You can even say every week, 
You know, Lily and, and Walim, Julie was published in the newspaper, and I don't know if. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> that should motivate you, Julie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Can I actually tell you something about the article on the newspaper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. After I did it and it was published, mm. I did another one and another one. Yeah. And then the editor wrote to me and told me, you know, it is so hard to publish you so soon after the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, ah. maybe he realized that I was too passionate. <laughs> yes. Maybe you should try. You can. I think you heard me talk about Lucas. Some of us really are afraid of that editor. <laughs> and we are meeting and we are not uh, you following up. I think you, you need to take advantage. That is an opportunity that you have that you need to take advantage True. of. True. Yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> And then you know, Julie, there is there is no loyalty regarding these writings. This writing, especially for the newspaper, so True. you the, you are published by Daily Nation. You can yes. send to Standard. True. You can send to People Daily. Then yes. there yes. is something which maybe I could introduce you to after this, or I can even introduce everyone who is here to it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. called Mukrak. Eh? So mm -hmm. it helps you to put. All your links, if you are published with Daily Nation, you put it in one place. If you are mm -hmm. published in Standard, you put it. So that mm -hmm. if someone asks you, Julie, send me your writing portfolio, mm -hmm. you just pick one link, mm -hmm. and it contains everything that you've done. Thank you, Gabriel. Book rack. No, no, no. Let me, let me share my screen. If you're able to see, then I, I, okay. I, I show you now. And maybe this can okay. even benefit uh, Lilian and also Malimu. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So it is called mookrack.com. Oh, mookrack. Uh -huh. Mookrack. So are you able to see? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, perfect. So you just come. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is, it is a platform for freelance writers, for uh, public relations professionals. So me, I have, uh, I have an account with them. So let me try mm -hmm. to log in. I hope I remember my login details. Yeah. So, uh, all. Yeah, it gives you a chance uh, mm -hmm. if you've written any articles in media outlets, mm -hmm. any articles in the newspaper, mm -hmm. or um, I don't know. This this is a new one. I I can't can't quite understand it. But also a broadcast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this you have to upgrade, but let's let's use the article. So let's say Lillian has registered with them, mm -hmm. and so she wants to she wants to put this article there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So add put add to portfolio. Mm -hmm. So every okay. Maybe I can be able to show you what I have at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, view your profile. Um, so this, these are the articles I've written in the recent past, which I put here. Mm -hmm. So you see articles, um, this was published by Strathmore University, Strathmore. This is Daily Nation. Mm -hmm. This is some website blog. This is SCCA Kenya. So if someone asked me to send them mm -hmm. my portfolio, mm -hmm. I will copy this link. Mm -hmm. Just copy it and send them. Ah. So I have 19 portfolio items here. Mm -hmm. So you have come. Yeah, so you just see all of them, the ones I've written lately. Mm -hmm. 
you put them. So even if you publish by standard, you publish by nation, you publish, you put them all together. Okay. So like an example is, let's say Joan Tatia, who is one of mm -hmm. our trainers. Mm -hmm. She's using it as, as well. Joan Tatia Mukrak. So this is articles by John Tatia Mukrak. So if you just mm -hmm. check there, mm -hmm. you find all the articles she's written, ah, which have yeah. been published, published ah. by different um, media houses. Oh. All of them. So you can exploit. it. Yes. I'm going to send the. I'm going to send the link of it to the. <laughs> the chat, but it is just mukrak.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you publish with standard, you publish with another one, another one, another one, you just put all of them here together, then you just have one, one, uh, one portfolio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> Thank <Nice>. you. I'm <laughs> happy that you've been reminded and you, you are considering the, the having the outlet channel, uh, Julie. Yes. 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 Yeah. And uh, Lillian, what what would you wish to share in the light of that reminder? <laughs> um, I just write that 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 for sure. It's that on top of my mind, I just write. Yeah. Um, I may not quite write uh, daily because I find now that mine is more of Christian based. I find that uh, the inspiration, you know, is a bit of inspiration that is required there. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have that inspiration, I find it difficult to write every day. Sometimes I may have to wait for what uh, Lucas used to call the muse. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think I am I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on that because then again, as I have said, I won't write about the more, more or less the, the bit about the wheel of time has nothing to do with inspiration. It is things that I already know. Just yes. like uh, yes. we are telling Professor Wright about the boys, mm. I, I feel there is much I can teach a woman, you know, mm. a younger woman. Mm. So I want to start working on that. Yeah. Uh, reading, I'm doing a bit of reading. I'm not very good in, um, uh, you know, reading widely, but <laughs> I read. <laughs> I, <laughs> and uh, I think I also read in the areas that I'm quite interested in, as uh, Gabriel noted. <laughs> I'm more in inspirational, but as I've said, I'm going to uh, to get a bit, um, you know, liberal, to, re to read a, a, a bit more. Yeah. The uh, writing targets, uh, uh, particularly now in this time, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm writing towards posting at least once <laughs> every, every week. Mm. Um, educating myself, actually reading about writing and blogs and magazine and stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying. Much of my time I'm on social media. I'm on, I like Pinterest. That, that, mm. That's a place that I am quite a bit on. Mm. Yeah, that is just about where I am. I hope I'm going to grow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you know, the, it's something good. Eh? We've learned some things, but what we've learned is actually not even a drop of what should be learned. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we keep... That's why for me, I really wish that even, you know, we, we, we adopt this. Every time I come across something good, I want to share it with... <laughs> I want to share it with as many people who can benefit from it as possible because we are always learning... We are always doing things. So let, let's keep at it. Eh? Let's keep learning. We keep writing. That rhythm of once a week is very good, Lillian. Please keep going with it once a week. So maybe you will even get to a point when you, you put it on a specific day, like Jackson Biko every Tuesday at around 10. <laughs> but, ah, <okay>. but, yeah. <laughs> but that is okay. Weekly is okay. Please proceed with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Malimu, <laughs> what what would you wish to share in the light of that reminder? <laughs> by the way, by the way, I used to, to produce articles for newspaper, uh, okay. and I now have them as, as cuttings. In fact, I have them as cuttings, which I keep in a file in my, uh, here in this house. Okay. <laughs> I think what I, I think what I need to do is to revisit that spirit. 
mm. and be producing as many as I can manage. I think you have challenged me very well when you 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 gave the metaphor of a car where we are putting in petrol, 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 and the car is not moving. Mm. Uh, <laughs> because as far as the issues to do with um, books and all that are concerned, I think I've been more at reading mm -hmm. than, than writing. Yeah. And uh, I'll take up that challenge and I'll see that even before I have come to the to the end of publishing a book, mm. then I produced quite a number of articles. Yeah. Mm. Uh, these days I do a blog, but again, even that is not enough. Mm. Uh, may I also promise that once this uh, uh, COVID-19 is gone mm. and I'm back to normal life where I can be able to go out and do research, yeah. uh, I just give myself um about six months and i'll be able to to finish my book mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is a promise which which julie and uh, lillian are witnesses <laughs> yes now, now, now that, 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 that is the book that has always been in my mind this one uh that uh, julie has to follow me on uh, and lillian uh i'm going to start working on that oh mm. man Perfect, sir. Perfect. <laughs> I'm very happy at the the promise and the the challenge, taking up of the challenge that you know you have to give an outlet channel. You know, even if yes. you just eat, 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 you will have uh, your stomach will bloat. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah? So I'm I'm very happy with that. And I yes. I uh, Malimu, I know you 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 are blessed with history. Yeah. And I every Sunday I normally read. In the newspaper there is this yeah. gentleman called kamau yes yes john <laughs> yes. he writes very historical things and uh, just snippets and they are very yeah. nice imagine if you wrote an uh, an opinion article yeah on that what you've just read about the relationship between trump and china and mm. now you in a way that the layman me lillian and julie can understand it eh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you send there i think they will really appreciate it and also your profile gives you advantage the newspaper yeah, will listen to you eh? you know that's true. yeah but that's true yeah you may yeah. look at it it could be your outlet channel for now i even i even one day um communicated with that gentleman kamau yeah when mm. he wrote, when he wrote an article and i found that some facts were not very accurate and uh, huh? because they, <laughs> Uh, and because there is an email address, I actually yeah. communicated to him and tried mm. to correct uh, some details. I I had more uh, accurate information in that I had done my research at the National Archives, mm. and he acknowledged that. Mm. Yeah. You see, yeah. I think uh, Malimu, uh, you are denying us something. You are denying uh, us something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do something about it. Oh, yeah. perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to be as industrious in writing as yeah. I am in reading. In reading, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, perfect. I think that is a very good way to end this section. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you allow me, I'm just going to show you briefly something. I know now our time has gone past what we had wished for, but if you just mm -hmm. give me five minutes, I just show you something that yeah. I'm suggesting. Yeah. If you could mm -hmm. be able to maybe try. Uh, yes. Okay, let me, let me just get it. So um, I think <laughs> all of us, but especially Lillian, will be able to really agree with me on this when, uh, when Jesus Christ had spent time with his disciples and he told them, now go and spread the good news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we, we, we are always concerned about this 
common notion that the reading culture in Kenya is not as good as it is not good. Uh, mm -hmm. Many people and many children are very comfortable with TV and with devices, but not, uh, not many people. But also we know now, especially having gone through the class and also some of this, is that it is very beneficial to read, uh, you know, as Prof, prof has uh, uh, confessed that he really likes reading. Eh? Reading makes him sane, if I would paraphrase what he said. Yeah. So these are just some suggestions which you may try or mm -hmm. you may, now that you've done this course, I think you also have a responsibility to even reach out to your friends and tell them some of these things, especially when you see them. So mm -hmm. he suggested some ways through which you can be able to encourage reading where you are. And I'm just going to, you know, to share them with you. There is this project that we are calling Books for Birthdays Initiative. Yes. So this is where we are encouraging that, you know, the way you have loved ones, uh, like Julie, you have your little kids. Yeah. You can... <laughs> in the mix somehow yeah mm -hmm. so if let's say during their birthday there is a cake or there is something whichever way you celebrate it but is there a way you can bring a book also there so maybe you can gift them a book you know all of us have birthdays if once a year if if we could bring books in the mix so these are some of the suggestions that we can be able to to try and maybe you can advise some of your friends also to try this we mentioned in class. You know, start a book club at home or where you stay. So, you know, it's, some of these things, they are very good. The joys, we bring them. So joys, it is good when we, sh when we share. Let's say, for instance, today you won an award at, uh, let's say, Safaricom has these promotions and you've won a house. What is the first thing that you will do? <laughs> Lillian, <laughs> now that you are in real real estate. <laughs> I want a house. If you I... want a house, eh, a, a whole apartment for, for you, what, what is the first thing you will do? Maybe you are called, somebody has just called you and told you, hey, Lillian, you've won a house. What will you do? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking of um, a housewarming, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that definitely you will have to do. But even before before you get to housewarming, I think you will call either your loved one or someone very close to you and share share, with, share the good news with them. You'll tell them, hey, you're yes. one of us, eh? yes. <laughs> I think that is one of the first, first things you will do. So yes. every time we get good news or joy, it mm -hmm. is only natural that we share it. So we are asking if you can start a book club where you are. So you can have a book club with your children, if possible with the whole family, where maybe at around in the evening or whatever time is convenient for you, you just call them all together, then you read one book, all of you. So you read it interchangeably, and then you discuss. You say, what, what do you think about this idea? Or how would you have behaved if you were the character in that book? So you can start a book club. Here at home, we have a book club with Vera. Every day we read a book and mm. discuss, just a chapter or a few pages, then we discuss. It's a very good way to bond and even to, to put everyone on the same page. So we are encouraging that you can try that at home, yeah. to have a book club. Then you may involve, uh, you know, books in your dates and in your romantic dates or anniversaries. Let's say you're celebrating 10 years of marriage or you're celebrating uh, 10 years of wedding or just something. Mm -hmm. You can gift someone a book on the same. Uh, this start a library at home. This one, there is no better person to talk about this than Mwalimu. And I'll ask Mwalimu to just mention something on this. <laughs> You, you want me to mention something? Yes. You know, why is it important to have at least a library or a bookshelf at home? Uh, <laughs> let, let me see whether I can turn the computer yeah. and see whether you can be able to see some of my books. So let me stop sharing so that you can be able to see my little <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me...
I don't know whether you are able to see those books. Ah, uh, are you? <laughs> I'm not able to see, but I'm seeing something in the background. Uh, yes, in the background. How about now? Mm. Not yet. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it is not able to capture. Yeah. But uh, I can say something. Yeah. Um. I. I have had a tradition of uh, having books throughout my throughout my working life, mm -hmm. maybe from the days I was in the university in the 1970s, and I, oh. and I, I have books stretching from that period to 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 now. Mm -hmm. And and what I have done is um, I have a bookshelf, yeah, uh, where I normally arrange them. That's what I wanted to show you, but the the laptop did not capture that one well. Mm. And, uh, I find it very, very convenient. And those books are very safe. Yeah. And anybody anybody in the house can just go there and pick a book that he or she would want to read. Mm. So, uh, and for me, wherever I pick a book, it is treasure. I make sure that it finally ends up there. Mm. So when you talk about uh, having a library in the house, it is something that is very close to my heart. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Eh? Yeah. yeah. And sometimes it is very emotional. Let's say when you you have a book you bought in 1970 something. Yeah. And uh, maybe someone dedicated it to you. Yes. And you look at it 30 years later and maybe that person has since passed on. <laughs> You know, it gives you some memories. Eh? So it's a good thing to have a library or a bookshelf at home and preferably put it in the sitting room. <laughs> yes. Like yeah. I, have, I have one. Okay. I have one history book I was given by Daniel Arab Moy. Ah! Uh, <laughs> in, in 1975. <laughs> yeah, <really? laughs> uh, that, that was the year I was in Form 4. So I, was, okay. I was the best student in history, and Arab Moy was invited as a guest of honor. And yeah. I have that book to this day. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, you see, it, it gives you very good memories of the time and uh, yeah. your past. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I, I was saying that preferably the, the bookshelf should be in the sitting room so that when people visit you, they see it. It will also yes. encourage them to have something. Yeah. Huh? Then, yeah. <laughs> then allocate a specific uh, budget for books. You know, more like the way we do it with utility bills. We pay rent. We pay electricity. We pay water. Let us put even five hundred shillings a month, or one thousand, or whatever amount to just you know buy books. Put it in the budget so that. You don't only buy when you feel like or when the book is when you see a good book somewhere. Then generally infuse books in your life. Where you see the way we normally follow TV shows like Maria, <laughs> like the telenovelas. Eh? <laughs> books also, maybe you can follow some writers if you are on Twitter, if you are on YouTube, if you are on if you are on YouTube, you can subscribe to some channels where books are being read, uh, or if you're on Twitter, you can follow some authors. If you're on Facebook, you can follow some authors or book clubs. So just generally put books in your life. And uh, again, this may be, may be talked about by Prof, but we've, man we've mentioned it in the past of registering to a library. So uh, like Julie, mm, you see the little ones and even uh, Lillian, you know, the little ones, you can register them to be members of a library. Maybe mm -hmm. here in Upper Hill, there is a national library. You can register them, even if it is for nothing else, but just to have that card, <laughs> that registration of membership. <laughs> Let them just have it once in a while, if time allows, maybe once a month or twice, once every two months. Hi. You just go there with them, even if they're just window shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or just seeing, you know, there is some, you know, let 
people some people don't start drinking because they made a decision at home to go drinking it is just they were just passing by and then someone invited them sure. and they started drinking sure yeah so someone may even may may go to the library one the library on one of those days and then they just see one book and they just say eh, i think maybe you know then they start right reading and then the last the last one for this is introducing incentives this one is very good for little children or those who are still very young uh like let's say for instance julie maybe you have a young one and they like going mm -hmm. out for bike riding mm -hmm. you buy a book to read you say <laughs> if you if, here is a book i'm giving you as a gift so when you read it and you finish and you come and present to me tell me what you've learned in the book yes. or what the story is in the book after that i take you out for bike riding well, yes. or um a young one likes pizza say that read this book when you finish come and tell me what it is about then i buy you pizza mm -hmm. you put it as an incentive it happens for some time when they are young but sooner or later they will pick up and they will just proceed without the incentive there is this theory of <laughs> theory of x and y theory of punishment and um, reward <laughs> in corporate management i think most of you are familiar with it it follows that so if because people are, people will ask you why should i read because knowledge is 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 in the mind you can't explain it well but if you put some physical things to it especially when they are young then as time goes by they will pick up the that so those are some of the things which we are suggesting you can be able to try and then i'll skip the other two then the last one this window shop in bookshops or online book, bookstores Mm -hmm. uh, when you when when you visit supermarket with your young ones or with your family, pass by the bookshop also. Just see which books are new, new arrivals. Just see what is happening. So yeah. you know, those are some of the yeah. ideas that we are asking you to share. And maybe because now you are light in wherever you are, you are the light in wherever you are. So even if you are seeing your sister. Uh, is struggling with something yeah, yeah. speaking with them may be okay but you can even gift them a book in that area then mm -hmm. you you ask them after one month that have you read it what what do you think about some of the things you've read in the book then you discuss so those are some of the things i thought we could be able to share during this time because now mm -hmm. we are uh, also more than uh, you know our writing and our reading we also now have to spread the light spread the mm -hmm. joy somehow to the people close to us sure. yeah so that's all from me everything from me <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah that's all from me i i will just ask june has joined us june welcome <laughs> i'll i'll ask uh, you all of us again you can give us your closing remarks your general comments or maybe a comment on any of those maybe something you think we can also do then generally what your advice would be to all of us your closing remarks really from all of us so i can see malimu on my right so let me start from malimu before i come to julie and then lilian yeah one thing is that uh, i feel very good to participate in this forum yeah i i participated in another one that was involving 69 people spread around the world yeah it wow. was a UN, it was a un meeting yeah and i found it very productive because it's bringing people from far and wide and the different experiences mm -hmm. so for us to do this here at home and especially at a time when we are supposed to do some social distancing. Mm. I think I really, I really appreciate it. And I would request that we regularize it such that, uh, again, we don't stay disconnected for too long. Mm. So I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. Eh? We'll, be, we'll be able to regularize it. And maybe after three weeks, or uh, we'll be able to ask when is 
when we can have another one and I'll, we'll, we'll really try so that we do it at a time when everyone, most people may come and we can even have other people join us, even from other parts of the world, even people who, who are not in class, but just joining us yeah. to, so that we share together. So yeah. I really appreciate that and we'll be able to regularize it. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Julie. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gabriel. This is a wonderful forum. Yeah. Um, and the last points that you've given us, uh, <laughs> there are many, many of them that uh, I can actually, you know, pick up and enhance, mm -hmm. like the books for birthdays, uh, mm -hmm. make it more deliberate. Yeah. And yeah, you know, it's something you normally do, but when you make it deliberate, at least you know one gift. <laughs> And mm -hmm. that be part of the birthday package will be a book. Yeah. So that one. And I especially love this one, incentives for reading and <laughs> presenting. That one will be very useful for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then do not do not be even uh, afraid of age. Even very young, eh? very little, just give at their level. Then you no, tell them, yes. come and tell mommy what you read. Eh? Yes. 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 That also will enhance their presentation skills. So when they are going to school, you know, they'll yeah. be courageous and they'll know. You are also introducing them to research skills. <laughs> True. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for that. And thank you for making time for this. Okay. Um, Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Gabriel. Thank you so much. I, I, I feel you, the only way I can describe you is uh, a real shepherd. You know, the shepherd who knows where their flock is. <laughs> really follow up after us. You know, there's yeah. lots of articles. Some of us would never get to know about a lot of things that you have, you know, brought to yeah. our attention. Maybe just before we close, you will talk to us about that. Is it AMCA? Did you say AMCA gifts? AMCA or something? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> but okay. uh, just the fact that uh, you keep following up on us and uh, you encourage us on what to do and you give us the ideas, the ones that we have. And then you do not, uh, you know, the fact that you do not, you know, sometimes you find that there are people who do not want to expose the the secret, you know, like this Coca-Cola secret we keep hearing about. Yes. <laughs> the secret mix. Yeah. For you, there's no secret about it. You just want everybody to perfect what... Um, you know what the gifting that is in them that that is very peculiar with you that 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 is a gift of god in you, <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah so we appreciate your leadership we appreciate your care you are really you know making sure that uh, each one of us is taken care of mm. Mm. Uh, thank you very much for the kind words eh? <laughs> You know me, I'm just doing what I was assigned, eh? what I believe I was assigned by God. So me, I'm just doing my part. This is my sadaka. So I'll just be telling God, on this day I gave you sadaka, you see it. So <laughs> We're doing it perfectly. Ah, thank you very much for that. Okay, June, are you, are you there? <laughs> June. Okay, I think I can see from this end, June's microphone is... Um, muted, mm -hmm. but uh, I know she's maybe she's hearing. So thank you very much for your time. Amka, you, 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 Amka, it's a forum for women in writing. Oh. Which is, yeah, which is always organized at uh, Gote Institute mm -hmm. every last Saturday of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have. They now don't organize because of the corona thing, but mm -hmm. maybe I can, uh, I I don't know what I can do, but when they have a session again, mm -hmm. when, when they resume, I will be able to let you know so that you could consider taking part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what they do is you just send an article you've written mm -hmm. uh, to them, then people come and discuss it. So mm -hmm. people, many people, and there there are more, Hey, I tell you, there, there are many Lucases. <laughs> <laughs> that is caring now. <laughs> yeah, there are many Lucases there, and they are, they are 
some of them are professors from University of Nairobi and they are very unforgiving. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can see from 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 afar and observe. You know, yeah. when you know what they are commenting about, you get better. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, there was a time they described us that if you want to be nurtured, you want spiritual guidance, go to Writers Guild. Here, we will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but I'll tell you that next time they have a session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much, Malimu. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, <laughs> Lillian, for your time and for all that you've shared. Julie, if you if your poem is around, you can share, then we close. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gabriel. Yeah. Yes, it is here. Okay. <laughs> so the poem is titled Carousel. Mm -hmm. Carousel is like a merry-go-round or Something that thing that just goes round. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Can I say? <laughs> so I'll start. Yeah. I am walking down life's path and catch a glimpse of flowers. I am inhaling their beauty, adoring their fragrance. I am overwhelmed by, the, by this desire to feel their sensational beauty. I am a, I, I am seduced by the alluring beauty the glamorous blossom. My heart is drawn helpless to the, to the prick that awaits me. Mm. I am seduced by the alluring temptation, the glamour of life. I am dancing to life's beautiful melody, keeping in tune with its flow. I am overwhelmed by this desire to experience it all. I am like a moth, dancing dangerously close to the flame. My heart is drawn helplessly to the burn that awaits me. I am like a moth, dancing dangerously close to a flame. Its warmth and light call out my name with a promise of opulence. I am overwhelmed by this desire to allow this happiness chase me. I am hanging dangerously on a mirage of gratification. My heart is drawn helplessly to the emptiness that awaits me. I am drowning helplessly, chasing after superficial fulfillment. I am overwhelmed by this desire to pause, to reflect, to reset. I am walking down life's path, now wiser and focused. My heart is drawn helplessly to the beauty that awaits me. I'm dancing to the tune of my sure step. I pause to listen to myself, seeking only that which seeks me. I am overwhelmed by gratitude and abundance and peace. I am fully surrendered to the journey. I am accepting of my path. My heart is alive and aligned. Wow. 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 I think I think you are writing about all of us somehow. You, yeah. eh, you are da dancing dangerously around fire, the moth. That is <laughs> yeah. yes, it's yeah. about yeah. the emotions and the, <clears throat> the desires we go through mm. in life. Mm. and the things that we are drawn to and then what we experience after that mm. Mm -hmm. um, yes and the summary mm. just says that uh, once we get abundance and peace mm. that's when our hearts are alive oh. and aligned mm. Mm. hey wow <laughs> Lillian what do you say now that wow. <laughs> <laughs> I must appreciate <laughs> you. Uh -huh. I, okay, you know now I will keep quoting. I don't know whether they repeated the same things in your class, but uh, now Gabriel remembers when he said, "Sure, <laughs> really yeah, sure. was instead of telling." <laughs> so yeah. one can easily see even the moth trying, you know, to <laughs> yes, and then you the fire. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yes, so I, I must say that uh, I'm, I'm I'm challenged. It's a good it's a good it's a good right. Mm. The good thing with writing is it is very individual, you know, mm. because it is yeah. something that is going on only in your mind. Mm. Yes. It's only going on in your mind, and it is an impression only you can tell the world. So mm. it's, it's a good thing. If all mm. of us put our giftings on the table, you know, we will influence the world. Mm -hmm. And I like the way you've, you've talked about very big, very big things eh, in, a, in a light way, because you've talked about very big things. Eh? You've mentioned uh -huh. something to do with opulence, how we chase. Uh -huh and us more or less but more like how we chase um you know the gratifications eh? the gratifications mm -hmm. are called it and eh? then you put it more mm -hmm. what you would say juxtaposing eh? the moth now you are the moth, <laughs> yes. the moth how, how the moth is helpless just yes. a simple slap like this puts it in fire eh? <laughs> and uh or just a mistake puts it mm. in fire and it burns, eh? but somehow it dances around there very dangerously. So I like how you put a very huge thing mm. in, a, in a way that we can be able to visualize. Not, not uh, as Lillian would say, not preaching to us that don't seek these things, don't do this. No, you just presented something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Karim, Malimu, do you have something on the same? <laughs> Thanks to congratulate uh, Julie, uh, mm -hmm. because it reminds me of the teachings. For example, I got at the feet of somebody known as Austin Bukenya, mm -hmm. the, the Ugandan who always contributes on mm -hmm. Saturdays. Okay. And uh, taught me so much about the stylistics. Mm -hmm. of literature and especially in the area of poetry mm -hmm. from then i consider anybody who attempts to do poetry a very gifted thinker mm -hmm. <laughs> but i think that's what today is becoming mm -hmm. i'm very impressed to see the baby at her bosom <laughs> there are times yeah, oh, yeah. Say, yeah there are times <laughs> you to say the child will learn by osmosis to be yeah. like them, <laughs> it will be a part. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lilian. Would you wish to read one, one of yours before we go? Just one. Um, I can uh, get it from my end very yeah, quickly. Yeah, if you get it from there. Okay. So let me let me share the screen. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to read the validity of the world's report? Or okay. Or would you prefer? No, even that is okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so, in a world full of reports, one wonders what's valid, what's not. Perplexing news render the heart, uh, the heart restless. Man's peace drowns in many cares of the world. Bad reports weigh heavily on his shoulders. Kilabalu of the challenges of living, unsure of what tomorrow holds, his week grows dimmer by the day. Threatening dreams envisioned, uh, th uh, threatening dreams envisioned in a lifetime. Yet there is one sure and lasting hope: the Lord's report, valid for all time. Trials and temptations, discomforts that come with the territory, whether consequences of waywardness or devil's affliction of innocent souls, or testing to prove genuineness of faith. Whatever the reason, none is uncommon amongst men. None weighs more than we can bear, for the Most High always provides an escape, so that we can stand under them. Testing of our faith produces perseverance. When perseverance finishes its work, we are mature and complete, lacking nothing. This is the Lord's report valid for all time. Where we fall short, his love envelops us. When weakness rears its ugly head, God, uh, God stands by us to give us strength. When anxiety is great within us, 
His consolation brings joy to our souls. In our filthiness, he invites us to come as we are, like the prodigal son. He receives us with open arms. In muck and mire, he stands us on solid ground, gives us wings to fly. We soar up as eagles. We walk, we do not faint. We run, we don't get weary. This is the Lord's report, valid for all time. We meddle with sin, iniquity hides his face from us. His arm is not short to save. He does not reject us forever. A God of second, third, fourth chances beckons us, come let us reason together. His invitation to, to turn away from our wickedness and embrace his free sanctification. Our scarlet sin, he makes as white as snow. Iniquity red as crimson, he makes as wool, but seven times deep in River Jordan, Naaman's skin was restored to that of a little child. Today we soak ourselves in the forgiving blood of the Lamb of God. The leprosy of sin falls off, cast away as far as east is from the west. This is the Lord's report, valid for all time. The opportunity for cleansing is for everyone, for whoever for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. No race, no tribe, no status, no creed. All are invited to the banquet without discrimination. Response determines where our names are written. In the books, we are candidates of the lake of fire, together with the devil and the deceiver of our souls. In the book of life, we receive the gift of everlasting life, heaven, our promised abode where we will reign with the king of kings. So why reject the, the invitation and ignore such a great salvation? Why not accept to be cleansed by the precious blood of the Lamb of God and qualify to walk in the streets of gold, sing forever in the heavenly choir? This is the Lord's report, valid for all time. Wow. <laughs> Wow. What do you say? <laughs> I think you, eh, I, I told her one time that I don't see the difference between what we've just read and maybe some all time songs like Amazing Grace, yeah. the message. I don't see the difference. I don't know if you see. Julie, what do you think? Now this, this speaks to your heart, close to yeah. your heart. <laughs> you know. <laughs> This is so beautiful because, mm. uh, as she said, it's not preaching, but it brings you the message about the love of God and how we fall and rise up mm. in a very short and clear way. Mm. You know, for anyone who has difficulties reading the Bible or listening to preaching, this mm. is, is something that can actually touch their, their lives, their heart and change you know, change their perception about Christianity. Mm. Lillian, it's very special. It's different. It's something that needs to be put out there to many people. Mm. Really? Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Malimu, thank you very much, Julie, for that. Eh? I know this is very close to your heart, so you can get yes. very emotional. Eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Malim, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, as, as Lydian says, it's a journey of life. Mm. And in the journey of life, we encounter so many tribulations. Yeah. Uh, there is a, sorry, I'm, a, I'm very bookish. <laughs> there, is, there is a book, there is a book written by somebody known as John Bunyan, Pilgrim's Progress. Yes. <laughs> and in Pilgrim's Progress, John Bunyan talks about uh, the life of somebody when uh, he or she acknowledges or accepts to be accept salvation. So it's a journey that begins. And then, of course, when one has accepted that salvation, it doesn't mean that you just stay and you are happy because salvation has come to you. The journey of life must continue. And in the journey of life, so many tribulations come. These are the tribulations that Lillian has kept on capturing, not like a preacher, but as a poet. Mm. 
Then, then finally, finally, Lydian draws us to the fact that despite all these things, the Lord is calling us to come and reason together. Uh, this, um, she said this earlier, a little earlier, that when you look at what she has written, you can also be able to capture the passages the way they are laid in the Bible. And I was able to capture that from the book of Ecclesiastes 3. And uh, the whole thing is very well laid by the mind of a poet. Mm. And it, it is something that really would be understandable, would be interesting to everybody without saying or dismissing that this is just a preacher talking to us. Congratulations, really. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, Lillian, eh, this <laughs> what I tell you all the doubts you're having. Now <laughs> this goes against them. Eh? <laughs> so, yeah, so you keep writing, keep sharing with Lucas. Actually, share with Lucas first before you share with all of us. <laughs> but, well, that's some of the ones that I just trash under. Gabriel is my, my writing partner. He's the one who sees first. <laughs> but after all, I'm your product. So. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even able to share until he tells me, okay, you just put it out because I still feel I'm in baby steps, you know? <laughs> But but keep at it, keep at it. There is something I was going to suggest to you, which but it may be biased. You see, the way you are reading it, even your sound was very, and it was taking us to to salvation. Your your voice. I don't know if you can consider, you know, recording podcasts. What you just posted, you record as a podcast. Then, for some people who cannot read for some reason. Maybe they can have that version as well. So you, they can just listen to it. So even when you are watching uh, the Viombo, then you can just listen to, you know, the, the way you are you are reading. Your voice alone was very, uh, was taking us to heaven, <laughs> even before you read the poem. So I don't know if you can think of that, but don't worry. These are just many ideas. Then maybe one of them you pick and you see what you do with it. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Sana. So thank you very much. Now you are free to go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gabriel. Asante Sana. Have a good evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye